Sagittarius, it's me, Stormy, and here is your horoscope for August 2018. Before we jump in, Sagittarius, there is an awesome special going on for my 101 and 102 astrology classes. I hope to have you in class, have you in session. There's a video explaining everything just in the playlist here. Um, the description box down below has the link so that you can get signed up. There's only space for 25 people, so I hope to see you in class and learning, especially because this month, Sag, school's in session for you. Let me just tell you, all of the mental energy happening in your chart is absolutely on high. So let's talk about this. First of all, as we're coming into the month, we're still coming in with a lot of retrograde energy. So we're still looking back over, considering, reconsidering, readjusting, reevaluating things, okay? And we're going to be doing that for a while. August is not the leap forward month. Even if new things are coming into your world, this is not the full force push forward moment. This may actually be a time for you where you're mentally going, what the heck is going on? You know, go with the flow, be loose, you're a pretty optimistic sign, but just realize there's a lot of learning on the table, okay? Right here at the beginning of the month on the 6th, we've got Venus moving into the sign of Libra. This is beautiful. Venus is going to bring some friends. This is your 11th house, friends, right? So you've got friends coming your way. New people who could be coming into your social group this month because Venus is going to be here all the way until September. Now, for some of you, um, you may have children going back to school. You may be going back to school. Whatever the situation is, there is certainly this influence and this influx of friends that could be coming to the table and forming these new um, associations and new socials for the year. So that's very exciting. Now on the seventh, we've got Uranus turning retrograde in the sign of Taurus. This is in your sixth house. Now for you, Sagittarius, one of the things I think of is first of all, when Uranus goes retrograde, it's actually really helpful for moving things forward because Uranus is going to go back to your past, go back through what's been going on, and you're going to dig out your personal freedom. And instead of it's like, I need to be reckless and rebellious and I need to just damn the man. It's not that kind of energy. Instead, it's internal. So you kind of just go boom, right? And instead of having these outbursts, you have this inner shift where you go, oh, action. But remember, Mars is still retrograde, so this is not quite action yet, but your internals will shift so that you can create that external. And of course, this will be around issues of health, work, co-workers, your daily routine, service. And for some of you who are have this in your world, this will also be things around pets, small animals. Do not be surprised if you um, have an animal that starts living in your house or something like that. Really interesting stuff, okay? Now, where I think the good good starts really going for us is on the 11th. We have got this new moon partial solar eclipse that's going to be happening in the sign of Leo, in the heart sign, right? Myself, my expression, my children, my joy. But this actually hits your ninth house. So the new moon is our beginning for the month. We plant the seeds of intention. What do we want? What's the new stuff coming for us? Now, where I feel like you might not be as squared away with your own personal manifest manifesting at this particular solar eclipse, and you're going to have to kind of be flexible, is that this is also here with Mercury, who is retrograde, right? So maybe, and not to mention, we've still got Mars in retrograde at this time in your third house at this time. So the higher and lower mental houses are pushed backwards. And here you are at a new beginning energy. So here's what I would tell you. If in your world, Sagittarius, let's say that this is school or something you've been studying, um, or even philosophies that you've had that have governed your life for a very long time, you may need to change track, change direction, adjust because it's not exactly the right thing for you. What I really feel like happens here is that this solar eclipse with considering all of those energies that are backwards, it gives you the opportunity, Sagittarius, to grow up. You're going to hit a maturity milestone where you realize some things are not in alignment for you anymore. This is your new beginning. Now, on another thought, because this is that new moon solar eclipse happening, this is your new beginning. So you could be starting school. You could have students starting school. You could be starting a certification, a spiritual journey, getting new faith, any of these things for sure. But the track of how you've been thinking and going about things, especially um, 
in a way that will expand you more into the world is going to shift and it's going to get different. Now, the other thing that I think about in the ninth house, because I think a lot about business astrology, is that if you've had something going on connected to broadcasting, advertising, podcasting, um, marketing, sales, books, publication, whatever it is, this is not your launch period. At the end of the month, it will be around about the 19th when Mercury goes retrograde, but you've got a new beginning to launch yourself or something else out there, okay? When we get to the 12th, Mars has been up here in Aquarius, traveling through this third house energy, but now it's going to move into Capricorn, so now it's in the second house. You may be reevaluating value, money, your budget, things like that, your self-esteem, right? If you've got all of these changes in your mind to your mental capacity, of course, the way you feel about you and you view yourself is going to be different. Now, I do think, too, for some of you, this is actually um, a great energy because maybe you've been wanting to have a promotion or something like that or make more money and you've put in or whatever it is I kind of feel like the energy is like whatever was from the past that can bring you more finances at the end of the month kind of starts to kick into play so really a lovely energy because remember Capricorn wants to achieve and is about that money now, when we get to the 19th, Mercury comes direct in the sign of Leo. So we've got forward motion in the ninth house, education, faith, philosophy, teaching, travel. Maybe you're doing a new language, whatever it is, you've got forward motion going now. It'll be slow to pick up speed. Keep that in mind, but it will be moving forward. Okay. On the 23rd, the sun moves into Virgo. We're going to light up that career. So light, heat, vitality, movement is in the career space for you now. Now, on the 26th, we've got a full moon happening in the sign of Pisces. Now, this is going to bring that home, family, domestic situation to the surface, okay? So what does that mean? At the full moon, we end something, acknowledge something, or adjust something. So if you've had problems in your home life, problems with women, problems with your mother, problems with your own personal foundations, what you get here is a reset. There's resolution. You can have, see what you need to adjust or acknowledge or change, whatever it is. You know, and even I think the way that you fit into your social structure in your home life will be different as well. For some of you, this could indicate a move. Absolutely. Now, the other thing I think of, um, just because August is back to school time for so many, you could have, um, children or yourself changing grades and it's kind of like you're leaving a foundation behind and you're getting ready to go on the journey of another one so oh lots of love and congratulations on that that's very scary and exciting as we get to the 27th we've got mars now turning direct mercury's direct mars direct thank you very much hallelujah in capricorn so now that money making that ability to take a talent or um, an idea that you have out into the world and actually make money with it, or your self-esteem self shift, ooh, say that three times fast, could definitely be happening and more available to be seen outward here. With Mars coming direct, it is just a gift to all of us. Oh my goodness. So let's look forward to that, right? But lots of changes in your thinking, lots of changes in your mind this month, Sagittarius. You definitely have this like mental shift that happens. Really, when Saturn was in Sagittarius, it gave you a level up, right? You became this next much more mature version of yourself, but it didn't necessarily mean that your mental was completely in line with what that means. How does this new Sagittarius move? What are they capable of? What's the new talent? That has taken some time to peel away, and I think you're going to start to see it this month and be able to put it a lot more in play in the months that come after August. All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in those astrology classes. Please don't let this pass you by. I mean, you can take Astrology 101 for $40 or take them both for $75. Where are you going to see that? I mean, gosh, come study with me. I'm so excited to move through that with you, okay? All right, guys, I love you. I'll see you next month.